Why, hello there everyone. I'm Laxo, aka the Kumo Sensei, and today I bring you some updates on what's going on in my life. So this video may be short, so allow me to explain and let us get into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is the feeding stuff. Obviously, nothing's actually eating because recently they've been fed way too well. It's been about three months and the majority of the adults are still not eating. I guess it's because I'm feeding them too good. Maybe I should give them a diet or, <laughs> or something because it's honestly like making the videos kind of stale. But soon guys, they will be eating again. Just for now, they're eating way too well. So no feeding for these guys. And only one of these will actually eat in this video. So you'll see which one it is. And trust me, the takedown was pretty soft, which indicates that they're not really hunger reactive as of now. And I know some people have been asking me, do I starve my tarantulas? Tarantulas have very slow metabolisms, so it takes an absolutely long time to actually starve a tarantula out. So a really fat and well-fed tarantula can go months without eating, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes even years on rare occasions. But you don't want an obese tarantula, and I don't leave my tarantula skinny either because I really do not like overweight or underweight tarantulas. I like them just a little bit above average in terms of abdomen size. So for those who are worrying that my tarantulas are going to starve because I haven't fed them in a long time, don't worry guys, they're all doing fine. They're active and they're actually all healthy. Way too healthy because you can't really sell or breed tarantulas if they're unhealthy now. Come on guys. <laughs> It's common sense. You gotta treat them the best you can. So for everyone who is wondering, I know what I'm doing and I'm certain I'm doing it right. Now this one right here, this next tarantula is a huge surprise for me. So this right here is my grandma's still a poker piece, my mature male, and he just became a mature male. So earlier in the video you saw his sister and she's still not fully grown yet, but this guy is. So sadly, he might not have much time left. Now he just matured about a week ago. So he's actually really still fresh. He hasn't eaten yet because he still needs to harden up, but this guy took six and a half years to actually grow out from a tiny sling to a full adult male. So I actually got him when he was only half an inch long. Yeah, he was very tiny. He was born on October 2016. And now it is January of 2023. So about six and a half years. So I'm gonna try and find this guy a new home. So that way he can actually breed because I don't have any mature females for this guy. So, so he's pretty much going away as a loan maybe or maybe I'll sell him. It really depends. I'm actually pretty much attached to this little guy because I remember when I got him as a little sling. And to see him grow up from a tiny little baby to a full grown man, that was a pleasure honestly. The journey of seeing your little boy grow up. It's honestly a blessing and a privilege to watch his little guy grow up. Because I remember getting him, and he was so cute, tinier than my fingernail. And now this guy is about the size of my palm, maybe a little bit bigger. But hey, I saw this coming when I got him. So, I might as well try to find him a mate before he passes, because 6 years is a long time, I'll tell you what. And now back to the video. So what you're seeing right here is a freshly molted green bottle blue. The Chromatopema cyanopubescens. And this is my adult female. And you actually saw her in my past videos because I tried to breed her with a male and she literally tried to eat the male more than once. So now she's much bigger and now I'm more worried about trying to breed her because I fear that since she's a large female now, she's going to try and eat the other males that I throw in with this female. So <laughs> I might actually uh, just put her to the side for now. Or maybe I'll give an attempt later on once she hardens up and she's actually well fed. But honestly, this female kind of puts me on the edge, especially when it comes to breeding. But we'll have to wait and see, guys, to see if I'll actually breed the species again. But yeah, without further ado, everyone, this is pretty much a small update and it's still at the beginning of the year. So things are a bit slow, but it will actually pick up once we get later on down the year. So with that, everyone, I'm Laxo, aka the Kumo Sensei. I upload every single Friday. If you enjoy this content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay notified whenever I upload on Friday. Follow me on my social medias. And with that, everyone, stay lax and laxo out from the Kumo Sensei.